Okay, so we're going to prove that if a and b are any two events, then the probability of a union b is equal to the probability of a plus the probability of b minus the probability of a intersection b. So let's go ahead and draw a picture illustrating what's going on here. Okay. So this is our sample space. We have a here and we have b here, right? So we know a union B is all of this, right? That's the probability of A union B. The probability of A is this here. And the probability of B is this here, right? So let me make sure to get some purple in there too. Oh, erase that purple right there. All right. So as you can see, um, when I do the probability of A, it's all that purple, plus the probability of B here, um, I'm adding this area twice, right? I'm adding the probability of A intersection B twice. So the probability of A union B would be A plus B, and then I have to subtract one of the A intersection Bs. So hopefully now, at least intuitively, it makes sense why the probability of A union B is equal to A plus B, minus their intersection. All right, so now let's go ahead and do the proof using some of our theorems and axioms. So proof. So notice, I, I can see up here, let me scoot this up a little bit. I can see that um, A union B is equal to um, A union, and then it could be a B minus a intersection B, right? Now, I wanted to create this into two mutually exclusive events. So let's see if these are mutually exclusive. So we have A, which is all the purple, and then B minus intersection A. So let me erase this. So A is all the purple, right? So let's do that. All the purple, this is A. And then B minus A intersection B is all the green, right? Notice B, it's going to be B minus their intersection, right? So as you can see, A and B minus A intersection B are two mutually exclusive events. And this union is equivalent to A union B, right? But we set it up so they're two mutually exclusive events, uh, where... Um, a intersection of uh, B minus A intersection B, right, is equal to the empty set. So they are mutually exclusive. So let's now do our probability of A union B, right, is equal to, so we just know that this is equal to the probability of A union of uh, B minus A intersection B. But now we know by axiom three that since these are the union of two mutually exclusive events, this is equal to the probability of A plus the uh, probability of B minus A intersection B. Okay. Now by theorem one that we've covered earlier, right? Since we have all of B here, and then minus a subset, right? The difference between all of B and a subset, we know that that's the same thing as the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B, right? So if we have B minus A intersection B, this is the same thing by theorem one as the probability of A plus probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. And then we're done. We have this is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. So we proved that the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. And that is our proof.